and good day everyone welcome to another video and today I am gonna teach you how to make a logo with paint.net so you have to resize your logo to any I want 1024 because you know I want hmm, 1024 just like uh, it's loading like that whoops and then I would like to select the whole thing and press the delete button on your keyboard or you can just uh, click this erase selection so you would like to make a circle a white one and then click this and while holding shift just make a circle in any size just make sure it fits inside and then you would like to click center both just click effects object align center both okay now it's centered so the next step is to make uh, I mean the next step is to select the whole thing the whole circle with the magic wand just yeah just select it Click the gradient tool and then pick any color. I would like a blue and what are blue? You would like the radial gradient and make sure the darker blue is like the center one. Put it here. I'm just gonna make it a bit. Yep. Okay, so it looks like that. You can use purple, pink, red, anything. <coughs> But you can change it like this. So, yeah. I would like to make a new layer uh, there. And then pick white. And then just put it back to normal. Make sure it's an ellipse. Make it bigger like 20. While holding shift, just make a circle but just because it's too uh, thin I would like to make it bigger oh yeah while holding shift ah oh, I ruined it remember if you want the perfect circle hold shift now I'll make it bigger yep that's what I want so okay not to click finish and you can see that here so it's annoying so click object align and center both so it's perfectly perfectly centered <coughs> not that perfect but eh, you know you would just like to click this again while holding shift make a circle you always hurt hold shift when making perfect cir shapes just to quit Okay, I should make it bigger. Okay. Make sure it's another it's in another layer. And then center boost again. Yep. Merge it down. And then type in your text. Um I think I want that one. Yep, that's good. I should definitely make it bigger. Uh, three ten. And then you would like to center it both again and merge it down. Get your magic wand and while holding shift, click the HRI or just your text. You know, click edit and cut there okay so yeah now you would like to get a gray and a white get your magic wand yeah while holding shift hold uh, just select the white area and then get the gradient tool 
you slide near I guess you pronounce it like that so you have this one <coughs> so the next step is to get this rectangle select tool and then select it to the center like that and then click adjustments hue or saturation and adjust make it a bit better uh... yeah yep it's better now you want to click effects object drop shadow actually that's a plugin so you have to install it just search uh... drop shadow plugin for print.net yeah you would like it to be black uh... put the blur radius here red widening radius a bit low so you have it but you have to merge it down and then add another drop shadow but a bit bigger okay now you can just make your own background and you're done so this looks a bit shiny yeah the shiny and then like that's the light so thanks for watching i'll see you guys later good bye